Hey everyone, Soap MW Gaming, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be going over a hotfix which was deployed today. We only just got announced that it was going to drop yesterday, and that is hotfix 2.8.1.1. And what that is going to be doing is nerfing the hard light. So the hard light has been quite notorious and crucial ever since uh, the update and buff to auto rifles, particularly the 600 rounds per minute auto rifles. This thing has been king in crucible. So Bungie decided to actually send out that they were intended to nerf this. So just quickly, uh, this Wednesday, 29th April, we're planning to release Destiny 2 Hotfix 2.8.1.1. This patch will have fixes for bugs that have popped up recently and also quick tuning for a weapon that's been shining a little too bright in the Crucible since Season of Worthy began. And that is Hard Light. Hard Light, a name that may either strike fear or pure joy in your heart, will be the subject of today's article. Here are some notes from the team on how, on how this weapon will be tuned. Alright, so, the problem with Hard Light was exotic... Uh, auto rifle, so it was always going to be better than the legendaries, but because of its perk volatile light uh, they had, The, it, the weapon had no damage fall off So this thing could map people and they recently Adjusted the stability on it and the screen shape to make it more accurate So they did that then the patch for auto rifles came out. So this got this got stronger It had unlimited range and they reduced a lot of the shake, so it became a literal laser across map. And that became very troublesome and very... Uh, very annoying to go up against. Um, I'm sure people have seen clips out there of, you know, just countless rounds bouncing around, because this also intrinsically has ricochet rounds, and the projectile damage was actually double after a bounce. We will do it again. So... Going over the actual changes made to Hardlight itself. So Hardlight's damage fall off now floors at 0.7 times. And auto rifles use 0.5 times as a standard. So it still has less damage fall off. But it no longer has that unlimited range. So it'll bring that back down quite a bit. Uh, they also changed the ricochet bonus damage. So in PvE, it remains at the double damage, the 2.0 times. But in PvP, it's now 1.35 times. So quite a big drop in damage there. And they also removed a hidden recoil adjustment that made the weapon more stable than intended. So, this should be in between pre-buff and start of the season. So what we're doing today is actually seeing if the weapon is still viable, what it, where it sits now that this buff has come out. So we want to know if hard light is trash again, or if it is still viable and usable in Crucible, because this is Season of the Auto Rifles as well as Season of Bounties. So we're going to jump in and test that out. So I'll see everyone in Game 1. Alright, so here we are loading into game number one. And just real quick before we jump in, so I do have the catalyst for the hard light. So I do have the extra stability. So we'll see what it's like with this. And if you haven't unlocked the catalyst for yourself, the gun will have a little bit more kick to it. I'm also, just for the sake of the video, running a lot of auto rifle mods. So double enhanced um, targeting, double enhanced loader double enhanced unflinching and then I've got rifle dexterity so this won't be purely indicative of what everyone else's results may be like with this weapon um, but I thought leaning into the auto rifle meta I'm just gonna mod the shit out of this thing see exactly how it plays out with these mods if it is garbage with these mods and the catalyst it's gonna be pretty terrible without them so hopefully Hard light hasn't fallen back to where it once was <laughs> because hard light was never really useful until the auto rifle buff, so we'll soon find out. Alright, Twilight Gap. A little bit of a close map, so not sure if we'll see the damage fall off on this one, but we'll see how the ricochet goes. And the stability. The stability is one thing that I 
try that I'll probably see the most because this thing was a laser. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. All right. Now I'm gonna jump up. Oh, Tom decided to. Okay, there's a little bit more kick already, I can see. He's coming up behind me. You gained the lead. Oh, okay. Last word, eh? Don't want that. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see you. He was standing on the ledge. The railing there. Alright. <laughs> ah, damn. Alright, uh, so I was just trying to test the ricochet. I wasn't able to really see the damage numbers. Let's see if I can get some more. Okay, we traded. Take the lead. You could turn this tide. That's old, mate. God, oh, here he is. All right. Come on, I want some long range fights. Oh, I've got some 15s there. Yeah. Okay. There's the damage fall off. Oh, wounds. Yeah. So, all right. We saw the damage fall off there. So. Instead of 32s, we were getting 24. Alright, let's see if we can get some more people through this lane without that Lunas picking us off. Uh, okay, no. Nah. Oh, we almost got him! What was he doing? That would have been real bad for him. I just spammed hard light and a swarm grenade and I almost took him lead, out. But the match isn't over. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's try and get these long range encounters. Yep, 25s. Shut them down. You gained the lead. Alright, so the range has definitely dropped. Looks like everyone's down beneath. Alright. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get some ricochet rounds. Stuff 
five minutes. Could go your way. Could go theirs. Alright, he didn't decide to push. Oh, got a super active. Oh, I got him with some rounds though. We got a defeat. So, there's that. <laughs> Got capped by last word at that range. They have the lead of the match. Oh, great. <laughs> Hard light kills. He's still in that. Shut the enemy down. Oh, just saw his head peeking over the top there. Three minutes left. teammate's going for with his super. He keeps hitting me though. Double down. Fifteens, fourteens, there we go, twenty-three. Alright. So there's that damage fall off, already seeing it. Try and grab heavy. <laughs> Still got someone else on their side using the hard light. So, it's not a huge drop in damage, as they mentioned it's only 0.7 instead of 0.5, so this will still have a little bit more range than most auto rifles, the lead. but can no longer just absolutely annihilate One people Hit them from hard. across the map. So, this isn't the best map to try and get these oh to get these results there's a lot of cover and it's not a very large map not that many destiny maps are large but All right. fight on okay <laughs> so shooting in person I still lost that one the lead. Alright, just trying to get some ricochets. Nah, oh, damn it, took the kill. Overtime. 
Let's do this. <laughs> Alright, actually got in the overtime. You're in the lead. <laughs> Sorry, mate, you didn't get the no bomb off. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Alright. Excellent. Sound tactics bring victory. Well, that's game one. So, not too much of a notice so far. As I said, it was a very close call to the map. But we did see some of the damage fall off already. The weight of the world was on your shoulders. I'm and not noticing too much. Tried more oh. recoil there is a little bit more but as i said i am running a lot of mods to support the weapon so what i might actually do is i'll remove those for the next game and see how we go all right so we're loading into the second game now i took off some of the mods i didn't take them all off what i've kept on is just a single enhanced scatter projectile targeting i've got the double auto rifle loader because it's just reload speed it doesn't affect anything else and then a single unflinching because uh, i feel like and a single enhanced unflinching and a single enhanced scatter is probably going to be fairly accurate to what most people who are using an auto rifle will use. They're the seasonal mods, so they're cheaper than normal. They only take uh, three energy. So it's very common for someone to have those mods on. And then the, again, the double reload, just because it's just for reload speed. It's not going to affect any other performance on the weapon. It's not going to increase targeting, bullet magnetism, anything like that. So I've kept those on just for my sake, just so I can get some faster your reloads. Opponent, then take their crest. All right, we've got a little bit more of an open map now. Let's test these rangers. All right, let's try and go to this far lane over here. Yep, so I saw 25 there. Why is he teabagging me? <laughs> Why again? Okay. He's using spare rations, you know. Probably the most used hand cannon in the entire existence of Destiny 2. Gary Oldman over there. Come on, I want some enemies at this range I can see. Okay, yeah, there, there's a bit more bit more kick to it, only doing 22 damage. And that's at about 30 meters. Probably a little bit more, actually. Oh! <laughs> there we go, another contender for, <laughs> for auto rifles this season, Summoner. Hard. There we go, 14s. No, that's alright, I forgot it's supremacy. You've got to pick up these body crucible engrams. Ooh, is someone just taking a shot at me? Alright, 23s. In the unicorn. Got him. Double down. Together as one. I love it. Alright. One 
after another. <laughs> nice nade, mate. All right, we got Tim Hurt. Ooh, Zenith of your kind, eh? What are you doing, Ace? Just <laughs> didn't want to walk two steps forward and actually see the enemy. You're getting stronger as you fight. I love it. All right, so the damage drop off is a lot more evident on this map. Ooh, but Emperor Palpatine on the field. Oh, he's gone. So we are seeing a lot lower numbers, or a lot more lower numbers. There still is that cap at how much it will drop by. But we are finding that a lot more often, and... There's a lot more kick to the weapon now. So pre-hot fix, this thing did not move. You you could just point it at a guardian, hold the trigger down, and it would not move. Now it has a little bit of a tendency to bounce around. Really? Why is he still bagging me? What, what did I do? Did I offend this man? Tim the Unicorn is offended by me. I've insulted his family's honor. Oh, okay. Is he gonna teabag now, too? Because <laughs> he killed me while in his super? Oh, hello! <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, Tim got nuked by Mountaintop. Alright, that note bomb was a little bit misplaced. Hit the bridge. <laughs> Alright. What I'm gonna do now is just see. Yeah, that. that Alright. Pre patch definitely would have won that one. He probably has an Icarus Grip or a Counterbalance on that Summoner. Now. Oh, that's not. We got my Randy's out. Just because... The hard light used to just be your go-to option for any range. Really? Unless you wanted a shotgun. Was he the hard light? Oh, hello. Three minutes left. Yep, so it's now turning into a uh, <laughs> Randy Star Knife showcase, but now for these long range engagements, I'm actually much better off using my Randy's now. I don't have another scout off to use this you know, scout off, but I'm here at the moment. Oh, what is that? So, free hot fix. Hard light would have been fine at any range. Any range you wanted to take someone down, hard light could handle it. But now, I'm actually getting a lot more success using a scout rifle at those long ranges because the damage drop off is really evident. Oh. Tim got taken out before he had the chance to bag me. Oh, 
Oh! Really wish I had my Revoker on this character, but I've moved it over to my Titan. <laughs> so all I've got is either my Randy's Dust Rock or Mountain Top. Oh, we got another person using the hard light. Chat, don't know what his game plan was there. Yeah, so it, it's just much easier to use something else for those long ranges now. I'm not so tempted to try and use hard light and everything, and I'm going to get absolutely fried! <laughs> We're in for Palpatine there. One minute. Don't know what he was just doing. Alright, two people there. Oh! 30 seconds remaining. Definitely notice the difference between one unflinching and two. Tim's out there. Ten seconds. Yep, it's not gonna win that one. Oh! A well fought victory. All right. Definitely a huge notice that uh, this time you around. Fight, and you annihilated them. Hey, I went, went to the top of the leaderboards on our team. Nice. Who is this Tim guy? Do I know him? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> so, I, I guess, I don't know. He just felt like bagging me for no reason. But, we definitely saw difference in stability, damage drop-off in that game. And that's probably a good middle ground to sort of see. It's a very typical... Uh, lengths of engagement you'd normally get out of an auto rifle. Uh, that first map was very close range. That, there, there wasn't, couldn't tell too much of a difference in the hard light in that map, to be honest. But that one, there, we definitely saw it. We definitely felt it in the handling of the weapon. There was a lot more kick, and I did take off some of those mods as well. But at those longer ranges, the damage drop off was a lot more evident. Mind you, it's still it's still gonna have more range than most, um, unless you do have something with range finder, uh, accurate rounds, anything like that, um, or extended barrel. They're all gonna obviously have more range than the hard light. But the hard light, it it literally had infinite range before. It had zero damage drop off. So no matter what you want, well, no matter what map you're on, no matter who you saw, you could you had a fair chance of taking them down because of the accuracy, the stability, and the range. Now they've brought all of those things in together a bit more, so it's not quite as bad as pre, uh, pre-seasonal pre buff with all the other auto rifles, but it's definitely nowhere near that, that status it was at. So we're going to try and jump into one more game. Looks like we've got enough people here. But I feel it's a lot more in line with your other auto rifles now. It still stands out just a little bit because it is an exotic and does have those intrinsics. So I'm glad that it still has a little bit of extra range for the lack of damage fall off compared to other auto rifles. And it still has the intrinsic ricochet rounds that do extra damage. But they've just reduced the effects of the exotic perks on this weapon. So definitely it's still viable because all auto rifles are fairly viable this season, especially all, well, all 600 auto rifles. Alright, should be another fairly decent map to test out these changes. Clash. I'll switch to my mountain top just so I don't have that temptation to swap to another uh, primary weapon. Defeat your enemies. 
That's all I ask. Oh, God. Oh, we got another mountaintop. Mountaintop recluse, okay. Oh, long dog. Dog. Long dog silver. Long dog, long dog, silver. Oh, I got him there. Ah, oh, he didn't set it off. Oh, <laughs> I walked straight into that one. <laughs> oh. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> oh, we got a Galliard. Opponents have built a lead. Destroy it. So glad I got that. I did not want to be spawn killed by it. the same guy who just killed me. <laughs> if I hadn't had to reload, I would have got that on him. He was just spraying and praying that thing around the corner. There's a little bit of lag going on because I stopped shooting because I thought he was going to die and then he did drop dead. Getting some fourteens there. Your oh, jeez. Kill if they're dead. <laughs> Did he just try and get me mid jump? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, th this is a terrible game when I'm on top of the leaderboard and the team only has a score of 24. <laughs> God Galley are going hard. Alright, I'd love to have my die, I promise, right about now. 
<laughs> Five minutes. Really? You gonna do that right in front of me? Oh! Oh, mate! Step the fuck back. I got him. There he is. Yep, lots of low numbers. Oh, you're not going to peek now? Oh, that's no fun. Well, that was a waste of a super. <laughs> oh! Dream Breaker. Wow, well, that's a different one. Oh, he's got heavy. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Good trade. minutes remaining oh oh ow oh, I was trying to get some ricochet shots there I was trying to bounce them off that door frame Alright, well I think that about does it. <laughs> Very low scoring team. What were they doing? You lost this contest. So what? Fight again. I had well tied for most kills on our team and I was using a weapon that I don't want to use that's just been nerfed. How? Alright, well, we're going to leave it there, so, three games, it's not a huge amount of time to look at a weapon, but the nerf is noticeable, very, very noticeable, the stability change is there, you don't see it so much at those close to mid-range encounters, especially because you do have targeting, or enhanced scatter targeting on, so that's going to bring it in a little bit, and I do have the catalyst as well, so it's a little bit more than what some people may have but most people should have enhanced scattering just because it's seasonal mod um, damage fall off that was very noticeable as well uh, probably well, particularly in those last two rounds close to half of the gunfights I got into I was doing less than optimal damage so that, that is a big difference considering the weapon had no damage fall off before that that is a huge noticeable change and then just the the ricochet rounds is a very hard one to test just because it's not practical to use in crucible um, it's more of a I'm gonna shoot at this doorway try and get some ricochet rounds just so people can't walk near that door um, it's just to try and control zones a little bit it's not as if people are intentionally running around bouncing shots off as their primary method of getting kills with this weapon. It's more of just a, a secondary um, little perk advantage of the weapon, uh, which Bungie did address. They said that it, the reason why they did this, they did the nerf to the weapon is looking at fighting lion. It's much more practical to use it 
as bouncing the grenades, controlling zones. It's not a not usually a direct fire weapon, but hard light was both. It excelled at both direct fire and indirect fire, so that's why they did change the weapon around and they did the the tuning to the perks. But big question: Is it still good? During the season, I'd say yes, it's still good. It's still viable. Is it great? No. It, it is more in line with everything else now, so I'd much rather a summoner, potentially even a Galliard, definitely a Suros. I, I feel Suros summoner would definitely excel beyond this weapon now. And Galliard, depending on the right rolls, I, I'd probably take one of those over it as of the hard light as well. So we definitely shouldn't be seeing it in loadouts as much. So I think that's that's good. Uh, if you jumped into comp trials, anything like that, nine times out of ten, it was revoke a hard light or a dust rock hard light. So that should change up. So they've changed it up a little bit, but this is still is a season of auto rifles. Auto rifles are still going to be very popular, especially 600 rate of fire auto rifles. So hard light still has some viability due to that. But we'll have to see with the new sandbox changes coming up, what weapons they're going to focus on next season. But for this season currently, it's still viable to use. It's just not going to be anywhere near as effective. And if you didn't get to use it too much prior to this nerf, you're not going to understand how amazing it felt to use this weapon across range or across the entire map. So that's going to do it for the video. So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you want to stay up to date with all my videos, make sure you hit the bell icon, turn on notifications. I try to upload every day or every second day. Um, certain things do come up. So I think this has been two days since my last record. I actually was going to record this yesterday, but here in Australia, time is a bit different. So I read, yep, yeah, Wednesday 29th, patch comes out. I'm like, sweet, yep. Yeah. And then realized, no, Wednesday 29th is actually Thursday 30th for me. So... <laughs> That sort of threw me out of whack yesterday, but I try to upload as much as possible. So be sure to hit the bell so you know when they're coming out. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye, everyone.